Dad. Hey, it's not good for you to skip breakfast. No time. I've got a big environmental case this morning. But you should read this whole article. Not till I finish the sports page. Hey, remember my telling you about those great electric trolley buses I rode in Vancouver last summer? How clean and fast they were? Well, looks like we're finally going to get some in Los Angeles. Like where? Maybe downtown. Broadway, I hope. I ride through there every day, and cutting down traffic congestion and air pollution would be great. Man, that used to be one beautiful street. Could be again. The electric trolley bus project would really help to clean it up. They're non-polluting, speedier, the ride smoother, and even the air conditioning is better. Trolley buses? I grew up on trolley buses. Took my students on the last trolley ride in Los Angeles nearly 30 years ago. Why would anybody go back to that old technology? Dad, except for running on electricity, these aren't anything like what you remember. These electric trolley buses are state-of-the-art technology, and you wouldn't believe how quiet they are. So they're going to dig up the streets again. Installation of the poles causes very little disruption. The buses, or what they call them ETBs, are powered by just a couple of wires strung from brackets attached to poles in the sidewalk. The wires hang over a small area of the street. But won't that obscure the view? No way. Working with the communities, a lot more mature trees and bushes will be planted along the lines to make the poles and wires less visible. They're even planning new stops, benches, shelters to fit in with the different neighborhoods, commercial, residential. And they really want to hear what people think. Let me see that. I wonder what they'd put in our area. Why don't you come to the community outreach meeting tonight and find out? And miss my Dodger game? The transit people need to know how we feel about all these proposed improvements. Well, I think that it's about time they did something to clean up this whole city. That's their plan. Look at this map. These ETBs will be part of the regional transportation system for Southern California. It includes heavy rail, commuter rail, the blue line, and high speed lanes on freeways for buses lines feeding each other all over the county, speeding up transportation and cleaning the atmosphere all at the same time. Used to be able to see City Hall from this window. Well, I hope we will again. The South Coast Air Quality Management District wants 30% of the diesel buses converted to low emission vehicles in the coming years. ETBs are the only known technology with zero emission and a high degree of reliability. But what about earthquakes, power failures? ETBs are really very safe. In case of emergencies on the bus or along the route, you know, fires, accidents, the overhead power cuts off. The ETB wires don't interfere with emergency personnel at all. And with their onboard battery system, they can keep right on moving out of the way. The doors will open and let people off. They've already proven themselves with a great safety record everywhere they're running in cities like Vancouver, Seattle, and Boston. But how many new power plants will have to be built to run these things? None. It says that the amount of electricity needed for ETBs, even when the full system is in operation on a hot summer day, will be a little more than one-tenth of a percent of Southern California's electric power capacity. So what are they waiting for? Designs for landscaping, environmental decisions, and community input from people like us. You shouldn't miss that meeting. You think it might come down my street? Routes are being decided on right now. That's what we voted on last year, Prop C, the half percent retail tax increase, to improve transportation. The system could be running by 1995. That's a fast track. Tell me about it. Trolley buses take a lot less time and money to build than rail systems. Sounds great. What other bus routes are they thinking about electrifying? Let's see. South Vermont's under consideration, from around USC down to about 120th Street. That line would serve business and residential. Anything in East L.A.? Uh, yeah. What are your boulevards on the list? The 18 and 30 lines from downtown to Montebello. They serve a lot of riders. And they're thinking about Ventura Boulevard. That's one of the main streets of the valley. It would run between Universal City and Topanga Canyon. And there are lots of others all over the county, including Long Beach and Glendale. Right now, the transportation experts are narrowing it down to the first three to 10 lines. But over the next 30 years, zoom. That's a lot of electric trolley buses. Where are they building them? Perhaps right here in Los Angeles. That'd give us a real edge in the market as other cities start buying them. It could be an entire new industry. That could mean a whole lot of new jobs out here. Speaking of jobs, 
I'll be late for court if I miss my bus. See you later. Hey, want to grab some pizza before our meeting tonight? Okay, you're on. Thank you.